And one of our favourite genres of film is... The Western. The Western! Oh, brilliant! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I love doing the Western, because when we do the Western, I can do my Western accent. You can do a Western accent. Oh, God, yes, I can do a Western accent. Okay, practice your Western accent. I've got to change the scenery. Okay, yeah, I'll practice my Western accent. No, I, 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 no, I, I really do love doing the Western accent. Absolutely love doing it. Um, although, before I do the Western accent, I hadn't I better get my costume on. Okay, you get your costume on. Ladies and gentlemen, we now want to take you back to the American Wild West. Me, 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 me. Always warming up, ladies and gentlemen. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 I'm going to do my Western accent now. Okay, so, because um, there's so many great Western heroes. There's John Wayne, get off your horse and drink your milk. There's Clint Eastwood, do you feel lucky, punk? Yeah, that wasn't a Western. Do you feel lucky, Punkahontas? <laughs> Better. <laughs> so now we give you the Western with the accent, with the, with the accent. A fiery horse with the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty ooh Madirio, drink up thy side, or drink up thy side, or mangle wurzels that. That's the wrong kind of Western accent, is it? Yes. I have ridden, I have ridden into town to say I am a cider drinker. I stand. No, that's a Western supermare accent. If it's anything, don't do that. Okay, sorry. Right, yes, good. <clears throat> I have ridden into town to see, who are, who are, Jim lad, pieces of eight, that's a pirate. <laughs> Forget the accents. I have ridden into town to see that there are outlaws on the way. Outlaws, outlaws, yes. They've ridden into town and they've shot up the sheriff. They've done what? <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've shot up the sheriff. If, if they're still up there, could we not get them out with a spoon or something? <laughs> No, no, what we need is a posse, righty-ho. Yes, what we need is a posse. If you've come up behind me with a picture of a cat, I shall physically punch you in the face. I totally will. <laughs> what we need... <laughs> what we need is to head them off at the pass. What does that mean? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait a minute. I can see him across the clearing. There he is. Who? The bad guy. Boom, chip-boom, chip-boom, chip-boom. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. I said I'm the bad guy. <laughs> no, no, listen. Ooh, 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 ooh. Will you stop asking me who I am? <laughs> I'm very clearly the bad guy. No, listen, look, it goes like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, if, you, if you're going to take the piss, I'm going to shoot you. Bang, dead. Ugh. <laughs> oh, who is that dead masked man? Do you have any last words? Bury my heart at wounded. Hang on, let me write this one down for a second. I just need to write this down. Bury your something. Where was it? Wounded knee. You've got a wounded knee, right? And you want to bury it where? No, no, my heart, your hat. You want us to bury your wounded knee in your hat. Don't bury my knee! Bury my, you want us to leave your knee sticking out when we bury you. No, listen, <laughs> listen. Bury my heart, bury your heart. Yeah, see, not your hat. I was going to say burying your heart. Quite romantic. Burying your heart's just mental. It's a waste of a good heart. Yes, yes. So, bury, bury my heart. Yeah, I've got that. I've got that. Bury your heart. That's written down here. Bury my heart. I've told you I've got that. You don't need to repeat that. Bury my heart. Don't say that bit again. I'm warning you, just don't say that bit. I've written it down. I've crossed it out twice and I've written it down again. So I've essentially taken dictation to so whatever you say. So it, it's already gone down in my little notepad. So I've got bury my heart. At. I thought we weren't burying your heart. Jesus God, shit on a plate. I'm dying here. Would you just pay attention? <clears throat> now, from the top, you want to be buried from the top. So, no, I, I, I want you, I want you, is it closing up your esophagus, closing up my esophagus, I want you, I want you, you're laughing as you die, yes, I don't know why I'm doing that, I want you, I want you, I can bury myself faster, I want you to bury my heart at... <laughs> 
Oh. Bury your heart. <laughs> I don't know, it must be a Native American name. Well, okay. So it says here, don't bury your heart, leave your knee sticking out. I tell you what, well, stick your hat on your sticky out knee. How's that? I gave up. Go and get the guitar. Do you know any country and western songs? I do. Do you? I do know a country and western song. Okie dokie. Is this, is this a country and western song by a famous artist? It's a country and western song by a famous artist who, when I sing along to his songs, I always leave my sheriff bar badge stuck on the, <laughs> on the, on the ground there and then go, go and plug in my ancient amplifier, my ancient western amplifier. Okay, I'll just go and do that. Yes, this is a song by Johnny Cash. Any, anybody here? Familiar with Johnny Cash? Yeah. Okay, three people with familiar with Johnny Cash. Everybody else probably thinks that's what you used to use in the old Durex machines. Do they have? <laughs> oh, no, Johnny Cash is awesome. Let's see how awesome you think he is in a second, Sean. <laughs> sing it. Okay, okay. I'm going to sing this short and lovely song. And if I'm needed, I will sing along because I wrote it and unnecessarily at about this point I change the key <laughs> that was quite clever a nifty technique thank you I learnt it just the other week they call it modulation it's okay I think I'll do it again. Now, don't get carried away like your fucking machine belt there. Oh, okay, I'll continue to sing, though, honestly. With that last change, it's a bit too high for me. We can't have that, can we? That is such a shame. Oh, dear me, look. I've changed the key again. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you had a reason for that change. But now it's starting to get beyond my range. Well, I can't bear to see you under stress. So how is this? You've done it again now, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm backing on the fact it can it get worse. Because we'll be finishing at the end of the next verse. I must agree how very true that is. Oh, look, I've changed the key again. That is taking the piss. <laughs> Wh whatever, we are coming to the end. No time to change the sodding key again. You would think that, wouldn't you? But if I want, I can just add another verse. You little and another key change. <laughs> okay, this is now ridiculous. <laughs> what must the punters be thinking about us? They're thinking this has gone on so long that it's a bore. And anyway, why don't they just sing an octave lower? Good point, well made. I had not thought that through. <laughs> that is a good and sensible thing to do. Although the point of this routine's no longer clear. And so I might as well just end it here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And so, now, of course, I'm not going to do that. And I'm getting faster. What are you doing, you annoying little bastard? Stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah, how are you going to make me stop? Uh, uh, like this. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't play the next track. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre, and so am I, and so is he. That's going to do buggers for continuity, isn't it? Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> problem, oh, yeah. slight problem, very slight problem. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> so now, ladies and gentlemen, we. <laughs> 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 I've got one. What? I've got a format. Have you? 
Does it involve people having stars stuck to their face? It doesn't. Uh, I've got one. A member of the royal family pops into existence for one sixtieth of a minute. What would that be called? Uh, Elizabeth II. Hang on, I'll just get rid of that. Oh, shit, it's stuck on there now. <laughs> You've got a bit of a Twin Peaks vibe going in the background there. It's a little bit Twin Peaks, yeah. This rate would be better off. Jesus! <laughs> 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 That's all right. Decade. What would that be called? Eight out of ten corgis. Well, at least that brought the mood of the meeting down.